Hi, I'm Todd Matheson with Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. And today I'm joined by my granddaughter. What's your name? Abigail. Abigail. This is my eldest granddaughter. So glad that you can be with me today. We just celebrated Pentecost this past weekend. Pentecost. Do you know what that is, Abby? No. No, it's a... It, it's a holiday in the church. It's a day of festival that we remember. It's the day that the Holy Spirit, Jesus and the Father sent the Holy Spirit, and it was the birthday of the church. So Pentecost comes from a word that means 50. So this is 50 days after Jesus, that's actually after the Passover. So it's right at 50 days after Jesus rose again from the dead. And then he ascended into heaven, and then he said he would send the Holy Spirit. And so on Pentecost, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit, and it was the birthday of, of the church. Yay. And one of the things that happens, it's recorded in Acts chapter 2, and in the first few verses it talks about when the Holy Spirit came, and uh, the ground shook and the wind roared, and then there were tongues of flame that came to sit over the head of all the believers in Jesus. And so, here we go. So here's a tongue of flame. I'm not going to put it by your hair. But like a tongue of flame would come and rest over each of the disciples as this mighty wind blew and then the flame came. And so because of the red flame, let me just want to blow that out. There we go. Because of the red flame, the color for Pentecost Sunday is red. And so I'm wearing red in my stole. And what are you wearing? Red. You've got red there, red and white. And what's in your hair? A red scarf. A red bow is right there. And so we're remembering and celebrating the, the birthday of the church mm -hmm. on Pentecost. <laughs> kind of cool for to have a birthday yeah. for Pentecost. And... The most important thing is that the Holy Spirit came and uh, indwelt each of the disciples of Jesus. And so they had the power of God, the presence and power of God with them wherever they went. Now here's a really cool thing, Abigail. The Holy Spirit has also been given you when you were baptized into Jesus and I was there for your baptism, you received the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is within you and within me, giving us power and guidance as we read God's word, makes our hearts come alive so that we can believe in Jesus Christ. That's what the Holy Spirit does, always points to Jesus, and we believe in Jesus as our Savior. So, that's what we are remembering here today, Abigail and I, as we are wearing red and remembering the sending of the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit came and the church was born. And we're part of that church today. Yeah. That's wonderful. Can we pray together? Yeah. Okay, I'll pray. Father in heaven, thank you for sending your Son as our Savior and then the Holy Spirit being sent as God present with us today. And for Abigail and myself and for everyone listening, for everyone who is trusting Jesus for salvation, may they be encouraged today knowing that God is with them. God, the Holy Spirit, who came in power on that first day of Pentecost and is with us each day of our lives. May we know your presence with us and your love for us, shown most specially in Jesus Christ, in whose name I pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining us today for some Daily Hope. Be sure to like us and uh, share this with a friend and subscribe as well. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bye now.